Welcome back. Our next guest has had one of those quote, what a difference a year makes. Are you year. kidding? Yeah. yeah. From right here on the First Coast to being coached by Adam Levine on The Voice, please welcome Dylan Gerard. There he show. is. Good to wow. see you, man. How are you guys? Great having you on the show. Yeah, it's, thank you. Thank it's you. Been, uh, it's been a great year for you. It has. It's been uh, it's been a, a lot different than other years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you grew up in McClenny, right? I did. Yeah, yeah. Small town. Small town McClenny. On the fr it's part of the First Coast. But The Voice, it was last year. It was about a year ago right now. You were, you were actually taping and recording the voice right because it didn't um, air till the fall yeah i think i honestly feel like i probably was out in la this time last year yeah yeah, wow. yeah. and and one of the things that happened that we're gonna we're gonna do a rewind here one of the things is you you chose adam levine but you but jennifer hudson kind of <laughs> watch this watch this we'll ask you yeah. about it afterwards maybe take it up a half step oh you want me to do it now yeah Holy right man. now oh you're getting coached you're getting coached go ahead and you smile over your shoulder For a minute I was stone cold sober I pulled you closer to yeah, my yeah. chest Say you won't let go So when you get ready to go up to your higher part Approach it more head tone Say you won't let go Versus say you won't You don't need to do that Because we already changed the key okay. Ain't this the voice? And we got <laughs> Just try it. Don't be scared of anything. Say you won't let go. That's how I know. Say you won't let go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank so, Talk about pressure. Right. I got I got like the I know you're supposed to coach it, but that that doesn't happen always where the coach comes up and makes you do something like that. Was that why you chose Adam and not her? <laughs> 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 um, no, I mean, honestly, that probably made the decision harder. In that moment, I was like, oh, she really, she really cares. She's coming up here, and yeah. uh, she's trying to, you know, help me find the best way to sing this song. Um, but in the end, I just had to, I had to go with my gut. I, you know, I've always been an Adam Levine fan, and I kind of told myself, if I ever got the opportunity, that's who I'm going with. We were, we were talking before the show, and I was like, hey, can we... Can you just tell me he's a good guy? And you, you reassure me, like, because yeah, when he you is. see Adam, he's he comes across so genuine, and yeah. I'm just like, please tell me the dude is a good uh, dude. For sure, extremely personable, um, and just really down to earth. It seemed like it, it was very easy to talk to him, and it was very easy to just, I just kind of be yourself and and be the artist and musician you want to be around him. He seemed uh, just great. That's great. Well, it's good stuff. And, and speaking of the artist that you want to be, you know, it's been a year and, and you're doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, you play around town a bunch uh, at Hop Tinger every Tuesday, right? Every Tuesday. And then uh, now every second Friday, second I'll be at Friday. Hop Tinger. Hop That's Tinger, great. Jack's Beach. It's always a great location to listen to music. But, but talk about the artist that you want to be. you got an, an album coming out with five songs, right? I do. Uh, so I have an EB, EP coming out. It's called It's Always About a Woman. Um, and it's coming out. <laughs> Should be August 24th, and um, which is also a big day for you, right? Or is uh, it 25th? The next day, the 25th. The, day. the 25th, I'm singing the anthem, national anthem at uh, the Jaguars game against How the Falcons. How about that? Yeah. Uh, so that tough one's song. cool. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one's right. No, that one is probably gonna. I'm gonna be more nervous singing that than I ever was on The Voice. There's that song holds so much pressure. Yeah. Oh my gosh. For sure. Um, for sure. When you think about playing at Hop Tinker on a Tuesday and then you're on live TV, right. that has to be the, oh, okay. <laughs> like, um, I mean, it's different. It's, it's absolutely different. Uh, and I'm, I'm able to just kind of do a little more stuff. I feel more confident being there. I'm not on like everybody's television set. Yeah. Um, and I can just kind of, I can play and just kind of be myself and I really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're complete, they're stark opposite stages, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can only imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. Uh, it's good stuff, man. Well, we're gonna have you. Uh, you're gonna play a couple songs for us, but the first one, what are you gonna play? Uh, the first song is gonna be "Empty Sheets." It's uh, it's already released, um, and you can get that on all music platforms. Um, you head over. You head over we'll there. Get yeah. you to work. <laughs> Let everybody know you can preview Dylan's latest release on Spotify and iTunes, and you can also keep up with him on Dylan Gerard Music. Dot com, but right now, we've got them on our stage here at First Coast Living. Dylan, take it away.
This house ain't my own These walls I don't own This love seems don't see much love And this bed where I lie Hasn't felt full enough For quite some time Been lay, laying alone But when I reach for you Sheets. 